Hello YouTube. Uh, today I'm going to do a product review. I fairly seldom do uh, product reviews, but I found something very resourceful that helped me on the tractor and the other equipment around here. Uh, on this uh, Kubota B2650, uh, the, one, the, the loader has to be greased about every 10 hours. Last time I did with the 91, and now the tractor is at 123. And if it hadn't been raining, it would have been more than that. And so <clears throat> I try to grease it every 10 hours, especially when I think about it. But so I greased this uh, yesterday, and uh, it only had one point that's really kind of uh, tricky. It's that one right there, but I have uh, two grease guns. And so it's a hole there that I come through that hole and clamp on to that grease fitting down there. And uh, so I have a big gun, grease gun, and a small grease gun. And I use on my big grease gun, I use this wonderful tool here, uh, lock and lube. It's a great deal. You just match the little button. It clamp onto the grease fitting. If you ever grease anything, you know how difficult it is to stay on it. And it does it. And I, I'm still using the hand pump. I haven't decided to buy the electric. I have the batteries for the DeWalt electric, but I hadn't decided to buy the grease gun yet. I'm still getting by with this one. But one of the things that product review is about this lock and lube uh, seven piece kit. It is really, really good. The reason I had to buy it, like I show you about the one on the front, but also in here, it has a grease fitting on the rear U joint. And the problem is, the rear U joint don't have the grease fitting on a 90 degree. It's kind of the an angle and it's hard to get to. Well, that led me to buy this kit. And what really worked was this one right here. Uh, you just push it in the little point. It'll push the ball in the center of the grease fitting in. Put the grease in. Worked perfect. Uh, use this in. Locked it onto the locking loop. And uh, it really, really worked well. So, but here's one here. Here's a little needle. Got a little slant. Cut in it on the end. If you have to get something real, real tight. So, that's one option in the kit. Uh, this here, I hadn't had to use this here yet. I hadn't used this attachment yet, but I'm probably gonna end up using it on the front of the loader, that hole I was telling you about, where I don't have to worry about that. Just hook this up to here, and that sharp 90 degree, it'll plug right on. So I gotta try that the next time. And then I wouldn't have to keep buying large grease cartridges and small grease cartridges. Uh, we talked about this and talked about that. And here's one here. Got a little round deal, you slip it over, and the pressure is supposed to make the ball go in, and that way it loads with grease. Uh, I didn't have very much success with that one, but I'm gonna try it on another fitting just to be sure. This is one if you need a flex hose, this works good. I hadn't had to use it yet. I tested them all out, that's why they got grease in them. I tested them out not being uh, hooked to a grease fitting just to get grease inside of them. And, uh, but this is one, if you have to just slide on, you can't get straight on one. It's really good. You can just slide it on like this, and it forces the grease in. So that's another one. And then, of course, you have this one with the rubber tip. And uh, it's got a little hole in the bottom. Get enough grease right. So this will probably work better with electric because it'll have more PSI. And this probably work better with electric. Hand pump, this one here will work really, really well. So I'm happy with that. But if you've got a lot of things to grease, um, you got a side by side, or got a lawn mower, riding mower, or got a tractor with a cutter, PTO shaft, and all that stuff. Uh, I would recommend you get the lock and lube. It is a very, very good uh, accessory to add to the lock and lube uh, coupler on your grease gun. And one of these days, I'll probably upgrade to the electric. But right now, I enjoy doing it with the uh, hand pump. So, there you go. Uh, you got a grease gun. Get the lock and loop coupler and then uh, get the accessory kit and that should be no grease fittings uh, that's unavailable to you okay uh, thank you for watching this short product review if uh, you like these things kind of videos or what have you uh, click that like button if you click on subscribe make sure you click the uh, bell and you automatically notify uh, when I put a new video up it doesn't cost you anything it is automatically come up in your feed again um, the lock and loop accessory kit, seven piece.
perfect setup if you got things degrees. Thank you for watching.